Hey, what up, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Just waiting for the last few things to be set up so that we are ready to go. And then we can hit this risk of rain stream. The game definitely takes a lot longer to start up now, but that's because I do have over 90 mods currently active, so a person can imagine that it's, it's got to sort everything. Okay, so everything is done and dusted. We can turn on the sound, we can switch over to the main game. And there's a possibility we're gonna have a whole bunch of pop-ups for quite a while still. Okay, so let's first go to the beta UI. Okay. Okay, everything is sorted, everything is in place, we're probably going to have these pop-ups sticking around for a little bit, just because one of the mods that I installed, which is kind of cheaty, is the unlock all. So the unlock all basically just means that we don't have to do these stupid um, tr um, challenges to try and unlock the remaining items that were behind specific tasks that needed to be completed, we got access to all of it basically straight away. And one of the things that that also means is that we've now got access to all the artifacts. And you might notice there are some artifacts here that might not be very well known to everybody. So before we go into those details, and before we talk about the characters that we've now unlocked, let's quickly get the intros passed out. So, welcome to this treatment, everybody. Hope you're all having a lovely day and or evening, depending on where you're from. Tonight we're going to be doing some more Risk of Rain modded. Just a quick note, for those of you that are not aware, all of my past live streams do get posted on my YouTube channel. So, if you do miss a stream, you can always catch them, catch up over there. Go show some love, go subscribe, turn on those notifications to miss, to keep up to date with any past live streams that you might have missed. Also, we do have a Discord, so come join the family, come and talk shit, have a place to relax outside of the stream and be part of the community. We are still working towards our 50 follower goal and I really would appreciate all the assistance that I can get from you. So share it on your social media, on with friends, with family, with a stranger on the street. Throw my handle at them and see if they're willing to follow me. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, I think we actually can just jump into this and get started. Now there's obviously a lot more characters. And I'm not 100% sure who I actually want to rock tonight. Oh, and because I loved the Goku mod so much, I downloaded the Vegeta mod as well. So it's going to be interesting to see if that works any better. But I think the first thing I want to experience is what the game is like. So let's go with Sniper. And you'll also see we have got new difficulties as well. Sunny, have you ever touched the keyboard, dude? There's, there's, it's, it's a walk in the park. The game could not be easier than this. 
50% health regeneration, 38% damage reduction, and difficulty scaling is removed completely. It's trivial. It's literally the biggest bunch of shit under the sun. But we've now got additional difficulties. This difficulty being masochistic. It's called Armageddon. It is so difficult. The game decides it's going to give you 50% movement speed to start off with. And it's also going to give you an irradiant pearl to start off with. But that's because, yeah, everything else will screw you without any loop. So I think let's go with Thunderstorm, a moderate challenge. But now we've also got a whole bunch of other artifacts. Every 60 seconds, a meteor shower will occur that contains six waves of meteors. Most enemies will evolve into a stronger version of themselves. If a monster is in evolved form, it will split into a group of its lesser form when it dies. Hey, Blue Basher, welcome to the stream, brother. How you doing? Most stages will randomly be picked. There's a whole bunch of extra artifacts over and above the normal artifacts that exist in the game. And then all the additional difficulties. Armageddon being the absolute nightmare phase of it. We've now got an in-between between, between Rainstorm and Monsoon, if you're looking for harder, but not quite Monsoon yet. And, my good sir, there's Goku. Me, Goku. <laughs> so we've got Goku and Vegeta. So, I'm not going to do a complete run with Goku because of just how broken he is, but... I'll be more than happy to show you like what he does. But for that, I'm also going to choose Artifact the Command because I want to show you what this guy does if you actually build him correctly. And then just because um, it's going to be easier that Monster Spawns are doubled. Let's run those three artifacts. Let's do this. The game's going to probably look a lot more different as well than what you're used to. Um, if you make a server, do other people have to install mods also to join? I don't know, honestly. There's a there's a possibility that that might be a requirement. Yeah, there's going to be a lot more items that you also aren't used to. kind of made a mistake there's something that you need on this character's loadout for sure and that is that and spirit bomb instead let's go with that look so punches are fine triple kick is fine meter cross now instead of that we want the charge and we want the spirit bomb so run this and just for ease of sake i'm just going to show you we'll take a normal damage I have, I have watched all of Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z.
So keep an eye on my power level at the bottom. That's currently at 6,200. Well, I've done just about everything there is to do on the normal run. But I don't think I'm going to stay modded, but modded is obviously more fun. I could show you. So I definitely want the fork. I haven't unlocked Kaioken yet, so I can't go Kaioken. I haven't got Super Saiyan yet, or Super Saiyan God, or anything like that yet. That's coming though. The un... you mean unmodded? Yes. <laughs> there might like be like one or two little like challenge things that I've done, but like actual game itself, there's nothing like content wise that's there for me to do. Yeah, I know. I, I saw that. I saw the. I saw what you were trying to do. I hate the fact that there are so many wisps. Okay, I need to get something that's gonna make this easier to deal with all of them. One gasoline. We want some movement speed. Which one is the 10%? There we go. forgetting which fork it is that fork is uh, that's utility skill i don't want that one um where's my normal crits there's my crits so my power level you can see is already up to thirty-eight thousand. Okay, let's start stacking some of these glasses, and then I want definitely that. Yeah, you become overpowered with um, Goku very quickly. So I just want to do something quickly. My chat is not. There we go. My chat wasn't scrolling for me to actually see what the hell was going on. want hope and feathers
Okay, we're gonna grab it's this full. Mm. Is there more than one fork that I don't know about? I know there's two different types of forks, but... I keep making the same mistake. Uh, heal while damaging. Okay, let's go do the boss fight, because I have been inside this area for long enough. Boss fight is around here somewhere. There it is. Let's see how quickly I burn through the boss. So that was a spirit bomb, obviously. And then let's go Super Saiyan. Actually, after the Kaioken has... As you can see, shit gets insane very, very quickly. Now you see that my Super Saiyan has run out. But that's just because I had a very... It's still a new skill. So as you can see, currently I gain key at plus 1.9 seconds. In base form. The more I level up, the more key I get. Now if I switch over to Super Saiyan, you see how it drains 5.7 per second. Every time I level up, that drain becomes less and less and less. Until eventually, there's no drain at all. Uh, so let's grab this one. We'll grab that. Grab this one. We'll grab more. Actually, we'll grab this. And for this one... To fire an knife of what? No. I must have missed something. What's this? Nope. I'll just take some hope before this is going a little bit faster. Take another one of those. On to the next stage. And then, like always, we've got our normal charge. And when you eventually unlock Ultra Instinct, the game becomes pointless. You don't even fight anymore. It's actually one hit kills everywhere you go. I'm not a fan of the Bloons game. At all. I don't like tower defenses. Uh, there's a, I won't say that I don't like them, it's just there's a time and a place for it. But in general, like, I'm not, not the biggest fan of tower defense games.
I'm actually excited for it. It actually looks like it could be really, really cool. Okay, I'm just going to end this run here because, like you can see, it's it, there's barely any challenge. Like, I won't have to pick up any more items, like, at all. And I won't struggle. Like, in any form or way. Because as my power level gets stronger, like, I'm currently in base form of my power level at 279,000. If I switch over to um, Super Saiyan, my base power is up to 2.2 million damage. And that just gets stronger and stronger the, the further I go into the levels. I can't remember, did they say that they're going to be introducing any new, um, any new, um, survivors into the new DLC? I wouldn't be surprised if there is, and I think it could be something really cool. But I think from the pictures that I saw, I think like the new, um, what was it? I think the new uh, DLC is going to be pretty cool. And the fact that, I mean, the fact that this game is still coming up with new content and new DLCs. I mean, the developer of this game could have easily, very, 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 very fucking easily said, you know what? We provided the base game. It was fucking fantastic. The modders have done the rest to carry the game. The developers of this game could have left it. They could have easily moved on to um, creating something else. Well, they did technically making a redo of the um, uh, classic Red, uh, Risk of Rain. But they could have easily left it there and been like, cool, we don't need to develop anything further for this game. But the fact that they're still creating DLC content for it shows you the kind of developer they are. They care about the player base. Okay, so I think for this one, turn off artifact of command, turn off monster spawns, turn off everything. We're just going to do a base run on normal difficulty using this character and seeing how we go. Are there any artifacts that we would want on? So there's a lot of new artifacts here that are not part of the base game at all. Mm, no, sure, let's go clean. Absolutely no modifiers. We'll keep the DLCs on. Loadout is exactly the same. And we'll try out this character. I wanted to try him out. It's either that or the sniper. But I think we're going to go with this guy. Okay, so I definitely need some movement speed on this. I don't think attack speed is going to be good, but some things that can stack might be nice. I literally just said I don't think I need attack speed. And what does it give me? Attack speed.
and you might notice that each stage looks very different it is an atmospheric stage aesthetic change that I think was done personally very very nicely Wisps, I fucking hate them. They do needlessly amounts of damage. Like they do unnecessary amounts of damage for what they are. And the fact that they've got aimbot like a motherfucker is kind of bullshit as well. <laughs> specific that I want in yeah nope so let's just go random item Nothing, nothing. My luck with those goddamn shrines is impeccable. The amount of times they just do duds, they give me nothing. Uh, steak would be nice, but no. I need damage. Yep, a watch works. Just do the teleporter. That's what I got. Get rid of all these damn birds. It's not the boss that ever kills me. I've noticed. Yep, there we've gone below health. I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm dead. Okay. Who's game theory? The channel Game Theory with Matt Pet. Don't know who that is. I've got no idea who Game Theory is. Not somebody I watch or more pay attention to. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, 
Let's try a sniper. Let's see if I can get a better run out of sniper. Um, are you in the UK? No, I'm not. I live in the Netherlands. So this is a very shitty version of Railgunner. shit does. So a sniper is basically just a someone should make a knockoff redo risk of rain two game with these mods. Well that's just it. I mean would you call it a knockoff or would you call it just additions? Because do you really need a knockoff for risk of rain two? Oh and yeah, just so if you're curious, your question too early on. So while I haven't picked up every single item, every single item is unlocked, including all enemy books, as well as all planet stuff, even some stuff that's DLC content, and then obviously all the characters. And then, as you can see, I do have like a whole bunch of challenges that I haven't completed, but like, I could not be fucked with a lot of these challenges. Because there's a lot of them. But for equipment and all that stuff, yeah, it's all unlocked. Okay, um, actually getting into a proper run. Where's that Xeno chick that I wanted to try? Um,. There she is. So we're gonna try a monsoon difficulty run. Everything is active. Do I want Cloudbusters and Survivors of the Void? Mm. And fuck it, we'll just keep everything on like always. Okay. Ready. Like, do a parody. Like, how would you make a parody of this game?
I mean, the game is already in such a state that you wouldn't really be able to make a parody of it because of how the game represents itself already. I think there's some games that can benefit from, like, making parodies of or making fun of, but there's some games that it's just not necessary. Like, it's really just not necessary, and I think this would be one of those games. As good as it is, like, what would be the, what would be the gain to make a parody of it? Oh my god, why is it so expensive? Uh, I don't know what that is, so... Let's take a random item. Chance to fire a knife that grants barrier on hit. That could be nice. Okay, so now that I've killed this thing, I can pick up these things, but I still don't know why I pick up those things. I don't know how they add to or make my like, damage any better. And my damage output is pathetic. Ooh, bleed. I will take bleed. Thank you. Just because of the amount that this girl shoots. I think she's going to benefit from bleed massively. But I am behind on the damage. I've got one item. And some crit glasses. Not bad. I can live with that. Why are there so many of these golems? This is kind of stupid. This is stage one. Oh, but it is monitoring difficulty. Never mind. Sticking around in one place for way too long, doing absolutely stupid shit. Evening, everybody. How you doing, Rush? Hope you're doing well, brother. Hope you've had a good, nice, chill day. Slightly increases the odds of chance-based effects. That's nice. Um, so I did install a few more mods. If you are curious. One of the mods that I installed was basically um, stage atmospherics. So you'll see every stage that you are used to looking a certain way is going to look a little different. It's got new aesthetics to every single stage. Just to make the game seem like it's somewhat different so you're not looking at the same thing every single time. Okay, so because I'm playing on monsoon difficulty, it's it's going to be important to stick to the time rules. So I need to get to the teleporter and keep moving on. Yeah. It is one of the first stages. It's that snowy first stage, but yeah, it looks completely different from what how it normally would. Okay, let's see if I die. And I'm going to give the Xeno Chicky a proper... Um, chance on monsoon difficulty with zero artifacts.
problem is I have got nothing AOE at the moment and that's going to be dangerous for me. Also means my ass is not sticking around in these places for long. I ain't dealing with all of that shit. Hell no. And you'll also see there's some details to my run now. You're also gonna see how many beetle guards I've got, what kind of damage I'm doing, and then also you will see that um, in the bottom left hand corner above my level there's a DPS counter. Is clenching all the time. You're not wrong on that either. It's doing that as well. <laughs> but now if you have a look at the bottom left hand corner, you've also got a DPS counter. And that's representing my total damage output at the moment. So I can see what I'm looking like. It was. It's called Better UI. So check if you've got Better UI installed. If you do, it's probably that. One thing I do want to do is install a mod that gets rid of these fucking wisps. These wisps are needlessly dangerous. Like, I end up dying from wisps more than anything else. And it's not even like a thing of like a skill issue, it's just the case of the fucking amount of wisps that spawn. That's a stake, a stake ain't gonna help my ass. shit. Wait, what happened to... Oh, no. What happened to my attack speed? Dude, what happened to my attack speed? Uh, kind of. As you can see, I've picked up a little bit of, um, like that green shit. But I don't know what it does. I wish I could say it, like, heals me. But it doesn't. And I don't see that it's applying any, like, debuff to the enemies. No, it's actually healing them. Okay, so I'm providing healing to the enemies. Oh no, I'm healing my I'm healing my enemies. Sorry, I'm healing my friendlies. Okay, so that's like it's uh, what what's the best example I can give it? It's a healing gun, but for my allies. That's actually kind of cool. In the right situations for me right now it's completely useless because it doesn't heal me okay the fog is gone as well
It's a pity that it doesn't heal me. If it healed, healed me as well, that would have been cool. But for some reason, it looks like when I picked up that... I lost... Oh, because I lost three of my normal ones. So it means I lost attack speed. I lost movement speed. So why the hell would a person want to do it then? I'm very confused. So it seems like I get some... I'm confused. What? Am I getting healing or am I not getting healing? Okay, it should hit me. It's gonna hurt. I get healing when I do damage. Okay, that's kind of cool. So as long as I'm doing damage, I'm healing. Cool. Now I need chests to get like movement speed and attack speed and all that kind of shit back. So, I think the way this character works is, if you pick up the essence of that specific creature, you inherit those abilities. I think. Uh, topaz. Yeah, I'm just constantly gaining health. Kinda cool. The problem that we've got now is I have got a lot of fucking healing items, but not a lot of damage items. Grants, healing critical chance, and cooldown reduction. Health regeneration for the next 20 minutes. Okay, kinda cool, but kinda useless as well right now. I need items. I need I Okay, I find where all the items are. Um, movement speed. Thank you. And no idea what that is. Oh, I died. I try some glass cannon builds without the glass cannon artifact. There's so much fun, but I always die at some point from two hits. Yeah. Because remember, the moment you pick up this item, let me just quickly show you. Uh, logbook, lunar items. This motherfucker. So, the moment you pick this bitch up, yes, it's amazing. You increase your base damage by 100%. Obviously, you reduce your maximum health by 50%. The problem is, I also think that the moment you pick up this you lose the one-shot protection. Or I've got that mistaken with a... I think I've got that mistaken with this artifact. Um, that one. Artifact of Glass. Allies deal 500% damage, but obviously have 10% health. And yes, I've now got every single artifact unlocked, plus some extra ones from mods. Let's try it out. Let's try it out on a nice build. On a nice character. You know what, let's actually try it out on this chick, because she starts off with very good attack speed. It might be very, very OP. And hey, you ever heard of poker? Thank you for the follow, I really, really appreciate it. Much love. So let's try it on a monsoon difficulty um, run with this character and no other artifacts. Oh, and Roswani, check it out. Not only do I have monsoon and typhoon and the other typhoon like I had last time, but I now have Calypso, Tempest, 
and Armageddon. Look what the fuck Armageddon does to me. Okay, but let's go back to a normal monsoon run. <laughs> yeah, so um, I do also have an in-between now. So where it's normally easy, uh, medium, and then hard, there's now an in-between. It's called Thunderstorm. So it's a nice little base between medium and hard. So it's like hard-ish. <laughs> okay, so let's do a, mon a monsoon run glass cannon with this character. Let's see how we go. And you're also going to see how different the, the map looks now. So it's the normal starting stage, but it looks like the crystalline caverns. I've got 13 health. I'm going to hit, hit by one thing and I'm fucked. My biggest danger is going to be those fucking wisps now. I didn't read what that skill did. Fuck. Uh, attacks that deal 100% damage or more release a shrapnel grenade that explodes. Okay. Low health enemies receive damage over time. That's going to be nice. I think I've still accidentally got the game thinks I've got two players active. I'll see now when the stage ends. If I get two rewards, if I beat the boss, then yes. I'm making this very hard for myself for no reason. Take a fork for sure. Deal more damage. Yeah, the key with this glass build is just keep fucking moving. Just keep moving. And have you ever heard of poker? Um, sorry for the delayed call out for the follow but i do appreciate it thank you very much okay so the back entrance is closed there's normally a couple of chests down this way so let's check it fuck wisps fuck wisps fuck all the wisps And because it's monsoon, I really need to try and stick to the rule of how long I'm in a single area. I'm just going to end up screwing myself if I don't. Um... It's one per item you for monster you kill, but it's it's got a limit to how much it stacks. Uh, I know exactly which item you're talking about. I don't know what that is. What did that do? I suppose on a glass cannon build, if I don't know what it does, I shouldn't be just clicking it. Where's the teleporter? There's the teleporter right there, fucking right in front of my eyes. Is there a chest here? 
Okay, start teleporter event. I'm not gonna fuck around. Good. Okay, so kill by Stone Titan. He smacked the ground once and I was dead. I need to check something because I think I have made a boo-boo. And I think I have still... No, I don't want that. I think I have still got um, the multi-threads. Multitudes website. I think I still got the... The game thinks I'm, I'm two characters. Just one. Thank you. Okay, now that that is done, we can close that. We can bring this up again. Sweet. So it limits how much health it gives you per stack, but not limit how much you can stack. Are you talking about... Are you talking about... Where's the green item? Are you talking about this? Dealing damage heals you for one per stack. The Legion Seed. Because I thought you were originally referring to this. Uh, killing an enemy increases your health permanently by one to a maximum of 100. Okay, let's see if this makes life a little bit easier but i think i'm gonna go with let's try a different character for this glass cannon build don't know what the fuck this dude is oh no let's stick with that chicky she might be pretty decent If it's actually balanced correctly. 10 health, so the extra 100 health you get only gets transferred to an extra 10 health. Fuck, 10 health at this point might be pretty decent. But let's see if this made life a little bit calmer for me. Looks like the costs of everything are cheaper. Uh, automatically, yes. damage that initial damage to enemies above 25 is going to be nice i nearly died get my health back get my health back how do i have elites already ow Damn. Uh, what's going to be best? Attack speed? Attack speed is always good. Always, always, always good. The faster I put out the pew pews, the better it's going to be for me. I need like one gold. Oh, come on. Something spawn. Yeah, it looks like it's a lot calmer now. Yeah, I think I did have the two people active. Okay, he's dead. Uh, gain barrier on applying bleed. That'll be nice if I can guarantee a bleed somehow. Try to grab some more chests. There is a scrapper over there if I need it. Uh, 30 and 25. Half bottle, not bad. Gain gold on taking damage. Do I really want that? I'm not going to be able to survive long enough for that to be viable in any formal way.
There's two chests on that side. I definitely want to go for those. I'll have enough for the small one, but I won't have enough for the big one. Glass has gained a small amount of crit chance and crit damage. You know what? That's okay. Stack enough of those. It could be pretty OP. But I don't know how much it is. So 6% crit chance and 6% crit damage. Uh, from this... Gain 5% bleed chance, gain a temporary barrier on applying bleed for 15 health. Could be good. I need shit to spawn. Okay. I got a cookie. Buffs last longer, debuffs last shorter. I don't know what is considered buffs. But let's go start the teleporter. I want to try and stick to the time rules as much as I possibly can. And obviously any... Any wisps that I come across have to die the moment they get seen, basically. Let's see how this goes. Beetle Queen. There we go. What did I pick up? What did I pick up? What did I pick up from this boss? Can somebody quickly check a uh, smoldering document i think no fucking idea it's secondary one in inventory oh uh, the, the book uh five percent chance to ignite enemies on hit for 250 percent total damage that's not bad so actually getting starting off better this round with some actual damage items previous run started off with just fucking healing items now i want to see if i pick these up okay i did nothing okay so that's cool We've got the cash. Let's grab this. It's a green item. Chance to intoxicate enemies causing heavy damage over time. Damage over time and heavy I like. They can exist in the same sentence and I'll be happy. Um, very much so. Any chance I can stand still and heal is good. If I can get the... The void item for that, that'll be nice. Oh god, please come on, RNG, RNG, be in my favor. Oh my god, it can't be scripted. I can't script this shit. I got a fungus and straight after that I got the void for it. So now I heal when I sprint. Now what do we say? Thank you to Orange Jesus. <laughs> they did. They were so nice. Chance to burn and ignite gold on hit. Got a utility, I Okay, those are all done. The energy gods have listened to your calls. They really did. They blessed me this day. 
I think I want to try and get this out the way. What does this do again? Um, cancel negative effects. I could have wished for a better one than that, but it's okay. Thank you. Enemies with four or more debuffs are marked for death. That's nice. It will be nice if I can last long enough to actually get all things that apply debuffs. So the nice thing is the teleport event is already out the way. Now it's just going around trying to get some chests before I move on. Hope of uh, wax quill is nice. Movement speed is even more now. Well, movement speed is the same, but I get a lunge forward whenever I move. Could be. Could be. And obviously we all know that it's always going to be movement speed. There's a scrapper over there. Is there anything I want to get rid of in the scrapper? Nothing really right now. Everything I've got at the moment can actually be beneficial for me. Um, 3D printer for that. Nope, I can't make it over that yet. Uh, that's a common misperception with the item of glass. I, I might, everyone thinks that it does so much damage. Like, it's good for, like, the first couple of stages. After that, you, it's kind of pointless. You could have just as well left it. Okay, so I do not have the cash to open up that. Yeah, I don't think there's enough enemies left. If I ran around absolutely every... Oh, I do have enough to open it. Am I going to be that guy that goes all the way back for it? Just because, nope, I'm not. I can't waste too much time. Because with this, if I fall behind too far, I'll take that. Become temporarily invisible. That's going to be a nice way to save my ass. I really want to fuck with void items, really. With void monsters, my apologies. Oh no, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. That guy's gonna be a problem. Your mum. <laughs> no, not your mum. <laughs> I don't think your mum did anything to piss me off. As far as I know. Low health enemies receive damage over time until death. Nice. That stomp will kill me, so I need to be very, very careful of those when we get beetles. Gain an express boost on item pickup, increasing your attack and movement speed. Stacks three times, resets each stage. That's a 3D printer for a cookie. I don't want a cookie. I don't have the money for that, and I don't know what the rest of them does. Yep, my bottle already saved me, so I've already lost my bottle. Attack speed, always.
At least my health is on 40 at the moment and not like 13 anymore. It's still dog shit, but it makes me feel a little bit better. I didn't make it. Gasoline. Finally, my first bit of AOE damage. That's going to be massive. Uh, attack spreads damage to nearby enemies. Oh my god. Finally, 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 some AOE damage. Okay, where is the teleporter? Time to get out of here. Um, teleporter is back there. Okay, boss is dead. Chance to kill, drop enemy packs that resets all skill cooldowns. Kind of pointless for me right now. But it's okay. So our only goal for this run is to at least obliterate on monsoon difficulty. Well, this sounds fucking terrifying. How do we already have a worm? Okay, and I'm dead. How do we already have a worm? Did I do something with mods that made this game fucked up harder for some reason? I do not remember monsoon difficulty ever being this hard. judge me. I just want to see what it looks like. I saw one of the mods did rebalance the game. Not sure, but I think it meant more difficult. There's a possibility of that. So, I have just chosen the Armageddon difficulty. Just to see what it's like. So, same character. Oh god, this is going to be horrible. <coughs> I'm gonna die. Okay, enemies have a fuck ton of health. Help, help. Is that a fork? That's not a fork. Ah, I took the fucking worst thing I could think of getting. You'd have to do this with Goku. True. How expensive are you? I could take one of you, and of course you took my money and gave me nothing. You absolute bitch. I think the only way that this would be difficult is if possible is with artifact or command. Yes, G death. Thank you. That gives me one free death. 
One free death. Drop down. I want this. Standing still grants bonus armor and damage. I don't think uh, any amount of armor and damage is going to get me through this shit. I don't even want to know what the boss fight is going to be like. Ow. Let's start the boss fight, see what happens. What's the worst that's going to happen, right? Um, I'm doing no damage to it. That's fun. Okay, let's run away. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. If I can beat this first boss on this difficulty, I'm happy. That's all I want. I don't need anything else from this run. I'm ignoring all of you. Oh no, I'm definitely dying. I am definitely dying. Fuck it. Okay. Well, that was fun. Okay, so let's actually stop being stupid. Let's go to something that can actually be enjoyed. Let's just do a normal run. I tried. Like, no one can say I didn't try. I don't know how people do that. I think what's also happening right now is I'm fucking around with too many characters. And I'm not, like, getting to know a specific character and progressing with that. So you know what, I enjoyed the Mortician last time quite a bit, so I think I'm going to try a run with the Mortician. Not monsoon difficulty, nothing special, no artifacts, no, nothing like that, just a normal straightforward run with Mortician, and see how we do. After Mortician, there is one that I do want to try, and that is, uh, where is it now? Uh, it wasn't that guy. This one. Um, the Pathfinder. That is another one I want to try, because I saw it, apparently it's quite nice. So, nothing too exciting, nothing too OP, just, just enjoying a run for what the run is. The only problem is I am very slow, so I'm going to try and hope and pray for. Try and hope for some movement speed. Cutesy bow. I don't know what a cutesy bow does. Mm. 
Mm, question mark. Chance of block incoming damage. You know what? That's fine. Uh, it's not quite Michael Myers, but I can summon the dead. It's almost like a necromancer bolt. I'm a mortician. I'm gonna have to seriously do something about this movement speed. Shit is slow. And this is painfully slow. Like this is almost as slow as base engineer. There's a potential red chest over there. Charge the burn again. <laughs> Rose, what is your favorite sound? The shovel. To kill, uh, chance on kill to drop ammo pack that resets all skill cooldowns. Okay, well, I think that's all I'm going to get out of the starting area. So let's go to the teleporter and let's see if I can't restart this shit. I'm just worried about these minions because I don't know how well the minions scale. worst boss possible to have. That's what I was worried about, because I'm not going to be able to avoid... I actually avoided a lot of it. You know what? That went better than what I thought it was going to. And I got a fire band. My damage hits blast enemies with a runic flame tornado. Recharges over time. That is very nice. That's a nice one to get early on. Fire band. need something with movement speed. I really need something with movement speed. What's this? It's a red item. I'm gonna do something stupid. Sacrifice half of my health, but now I've got money at least. Gasoline. Gasoline, very, very nice. I've got some AoE. Some. Honestly, yeah, that was smooth. Yeah, it wasn't too difficult. Like, the boss fight wasn't too shit. It was at a comfortable time. I 
didn't take too much damage. And, um, and it looks like my shovel does enough damage that almost every single hit, hit activates the band of fire. Which is very nice. Temporarily increases attack speed and damage when an ally is killed by an enemy. Okay, so that is completely useless for me. So that can go into a scrapper the moment I find a scrapper. What the fuck is active? Attack speed and damage increased. Is it gonna be stupid to activate this already? Actually, no. I think let's do it. Let's get the boss fight out the way. It's a Beetle Queen. Well, that was easy. The faster you move, the more damage you do. You're just slow, so yes, our movement speed would be nice. Very, very nice. I could really do with a lot of movement speed right now. There's one sound in the background that I'm not liking. It's a very distorted bass sound. It looks like it's a sound when they die. Not a fan of that. I don't know if the sound has just glitched out or what the case is, but yeah, I'm not a fan of that sound. Hopefully, if I move on to the new stage, I might fix it. Oh, shit. I almost got you in under 10 minutes. That would have been nice. Oh, Scrapper. Okay, Scrapper is important because I'm going to get rid of that stupid thing that's... Get rid of that. Thank you. Okay, if you die, what sound do you make? Please sound better. Yes. Okay, so it's just the sound that glitched out for a moment there. They don't sound so shitty and distorted anymore. What are the costs of these chests? The costs are already up to 84. Topaz, I can live with that a bit of saving grace. What do I have actually? Elemental rings ready. Ah. And he's very fucking slow, so some movement speed would be would be nice. Definitely be nice. And I took some bleed there, so that's not the biggest one. I still love that. It's such a nice, refreshing, just bonk. Random item. Steak. Eh, yeah, some increased health isn't bad. And the health on this guy is pretty decent, like, pretty tanky. Ooh, I do not have that kind of money. There's bleed, but I doubt that bleed on a bolt like this is going to be worth it. See, the problem is, I don't know how much punk feels heavy it does. It feels like it's got, like, meaning behind it. It's the problem I've got with, um these ghouls is I don't know how much of that 
how much of the stuff that I'm picking up is it like the engineer do the things that I pick up transfer to my ghouls do my ghouls level up I don't know that yet spawn a ghoul on the ground in front of you ghouls bite for 150% damage and spit blight and bile for 100% 100% and 150% based off of what? Because if it is the case that they don't, and that's just their base damage output 24-7, it's going to be very shit, because it means that after like the third or fourth stage, I can't rely on them at all anymore. Ukulele is nice. They seem like they're doing quite a bit of damage. Like, their damage, I feel like, would have already been falling off at this point. incoming damage while sprinting very nice i am going to the bazaar because <clears throat> one of the sorry let's take some drink because one of the mods that i downloaded for the bazaar is called bigger bazaar so that means within the bazaar not only do we have the normal shop over here and the stuff over there. We've now got a whole thing over here. Of stuff that I can buy. So, movement speed. Yes. And I've got the money to be able to buy another one. And if I really want to, another one. But obviously you need the money for it. So, what does this do? Um, scratch tickets. Oh, okay, I don't think I can buy anymore. I think I reached the limit of the shop. Yep, I reached the limit of the shop. And look, now my guy actually moves somewhat nicely again. Um, I don't know what these things do. Beads of fealty. I don't know what beads of fealty does. I'm not going to risk it. I got what I wanted to from this. I got the movement speed. So yeah, I'm agreeing with you 100%. It's the part of the engineer and the turrets that make them super strong. is the fact that they inherit everything that you get. Now, while it doesn't look like the ghouls inherit what I have... I'm just hoping that they at least scale with damage. Because if they don't, it's going to make them very shit very quickly. Oh, that's dangerous. That guy's hitting quite hard. Oh no, I gotta stop fucking with him. He's gonna cause me to be dead very quickly.
Okay, I'm not blaming their damage on the fact that they shit. I know that the enemy they're fighting right now, one, is a hard enemy, and two, it's a... It's a boss. It's a juiced version of the enemy, so... Okay, we got some good money. So while they're dealing with that shit, I'm gonna go unlock stuff. How much is the legendary under here? 2,200. Okay, not far off. We are going to take a scythe. Critical strikes heal you. Was this like one enemy for this entire round? Because this bitch just gave me so much god of money. Why is it only spawning this one type of boss? Okay, if that's the case, I need to get out of here. Oh, actually, I've got a fuck ton of money in a much faster movement speed. I need to get as many chests as I can right now. There's one over there. I am not making that jump. My ass is way too shit and way too fat. Oh, I actually did. My bad. Um, that could be nice. Dealing damage heals me. Critical strikes mock enemies. I have got a Molotov cocktail. I guess our money this round is definitely not an issue. Agreed. It should level up as, as I do. 100%. But whether it does, I actually don't know. And it's going to determine whether this is a god tier character or not. And the part that's kind of scaring me is my, like, DPS is still very low. Okay, boss is dead at least. True. Uh, I've got tons of AoE. Like, I think so, because the ukulele definitely came in clutch. I want to determine the damage of these motherfuckers completely on their own against some enemies at this point. So... Okay. Let's just put one of them down. 
Okay, so the bile still does some decent tick damage. Okay. Smack him and tell me how much it does. Ooh, that's horrible. Hold on, brother. This item, Strange Can, chance to intoxicate enemies, causing them to lose 2.5. I just saw my um, monsters stack that. I'll see you next time it comes up. I actually do think they gain a lot of the stuff that I get. Actually, can I ask you a favor? Roswell, can you quickly Google it for me? Can you Google for me if um, the mortician um, actually gets the mortician's minions, actually get the items you pick up? Hoping further will be nice. True, but I'm not seeing them proc that yet. Okay, so the tombstone does... Oh my god. Okay, well, hello. try and read that message again of yours okay so they don't inherit your items but they proc your on hit effects and any kill they earn will belong to you okay pretty straightforward okay so they don't pick up things like chance to crit chance to damage and that kind of stuff but however if i have got Proking effects like proking damage, uh, sorry, proking um, bleed or proking um, fire damage or something like that, they will still proc elemental or um, ailments. Um, and unlike ghouls, the tombstone does inherit your items, but how does the tombstone inherit it? What does the tombstone do? Tombstone. Erect a tombstone that spawns a ghoul every 10 seconds. Whenever a ghoul is slain, the tombstone generates an explosive angel spirit. How the hell does it, did my tombstone inherit my shit? I'm definitely taking this one. A 
so maybe attack speed lowers the rate at which it spawns schools. Maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna die. Thank you. I need to heal, I need to heal, I need to heal. Okay, I'm getting there. Okay, that was fucking terrifying. Boss one is dead. And I got half my health back. We're looking better. And I'm dead. I want to test something because... There's one mod that I feel is eating my frames. This... Oh, fuck, requires a restart. Can I just turn the mod, mod off? Lower the corpse amount. Is that an option? Oh. Oh, fuck it. I don't need to see corpses. Let's see how much of a difference that made. I like Mortician. My only problem with Mortician is, first of all, the starting damage. But you see... Okay, I want to try this character. The problem is, with what Mortician does, I can achieve by using... Engineer. Mm. It'll, it'll one thousand percent be more effective, almost guaranteed. But let's try this one. So, I do know this. So, I think my, my birdie, my birdie on this guy does gain everything I get as well. I think I read that from the mod description page. Yep, there's my boot. It's 
Bats could be kind of cool. He's not too slow to start off with. He's got a dash. And it looks like the longer my bird sits around doing nothing. Uh, so if I do this. My birdie actually does quite a... Okay, shit. My birdie is actually pretty decent. Now we just need to find out how much shit it actually inherits. Once I get my first item. You know, extra inches of damage on hit upgrades at level 17. If I want that, I'll just keep moving. Are you also busy with the run at the moment, as well? about to though nice that's the thing about this game just watching somebody play it normally puts you in the mood for it Ooh, enjoy your snack <laughs> that's for sure Oh, that was perfectly useless. And it's also kind of useless once again sitting in the position where I'm getting no healing items. Did it just throw all my shit off the side? It just threw all the items I had off the side of the map. Lovely. Nope. Restart. Pure fucking fact that it took all my shit and dumped off the side of the mountain. Fuck me. Badly. Wait for one or two more enemies to spawn. Nice. The fire missile on taking heavy damage. Define heavy. It doesn't state. Uh, 
gonna stack a little bit of damage for some health, uh, for some gold. I wonder how high that stacks. A blinding flash that stuns and ignites. Nice. That's actually a very, very nice item. That's very nice. Oh, two different items. Amber knife and the molten coin. No, that's two different types of molten coins. Let's see what we can do to the boss with us. Don't die. Oh my god, I am making stupid, 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 stupid mistakes. Darkness, let's try it. I have not had one single decent run yet tonight. Not one. Oh, this guy looks goofy. This guy looks very, very fucking goofy.
Hey, welcome back. This guy looks so fucking goofy. Look what he looks like when he runs. He looks so goofy. Yeah, I think that's one of the problems of having like all the amount of mods that you do is that some of them are going to look kind of stupid, some of them are going to look kind of cool. Like, I think this is like the discount version of this guy. You can see just based on like the quality of this one's model and the quality of this one's model. When your mom says we when your mom says we've got arsonist at home. Arsonist at home. <laughs> oh, that was fucking stupid. My apologies. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think just for my own sanity, I'm just gonna have a normal engineer run. Let's go on monsoon difficulty, but I'm gonna do artifact of command and I'm also going to do um monsters drop items on death and then also monster spawns are doubled and come on how bad is does my engineer look Okay, so the teleport is not this way. Okay, first thing like always, we get that bleed going. The bleed was actually the wrong one to go for, I actually wanted the attack speed. Like, I feel like something's eating my frames, like a lot. Like a lot more than usual. mod that I've got to change the environment might be the cause of that okay but now that we are here let's get this shit set up
And now this is where we chill. And this is one of the main reasons why I like the monsters drop the items. I don't have to fucking run around looking for chests. Granted, it does make the playstyle very fucking boring. Hey, got another white item. You are gonna be attack speed. I honestly don't know what this red thing is that I picked up that's floating around me. any longer let's put down the new ones start the teleporter okay that was fun and we're gonna go straight into the uh fuck i wanted that item so badly so we've only got 476 cash that's not bad we might be able to get some nice shit from you yeah there's two of them of course okay so Fuck, all of my money for that. Nope, let's be smart about this. I'm gonna go with attack speed. One green item, actually. Two green items, apparently. I don't want that. Am I back? No. Where are those things? There it is. That was in gain armor when hit. And then... Yeah, I'll take this. And then we'll just grab some white, it white items. Nope, that's all I can take. Okay. Can't sacrifice anything for that. Do I want a blue item? Yes, I will take that. Where is it? No, this is Ant's Accelerator. There's one specific item I'm looking for. I lose a lot of attack speed with that. There we go. I've only got one health. 
Uh, let's grab one more. This could be absolutely OP. That could be potentially very, very, very powerful. I think one of the things that's also making the runs a lot harder now is if you're doing a clean run with absolutely zero artifacts going, the pool of potential items that you're going to get obviously is vastly increased. Meaning there's a much smaller chance of you getting the required things that you need. So you would normally have one of one in let's say one in fifteen chance of having a um, attack speed increase. With all the additional shit we've got, that automatically becomes like a one in thirty-five, one in forty chance. So it's nice having all the extra stuff, but if you're doing a clean run, it might make it a lot harder. Yeah, you remove twice completely. If something's not right, my frames is already down to 114 frames. That's gonna hurt. Okay. Let's grab some movement speed. Let's grab some attack speed. Let's grab a new utility item because this thing that I've got sucks. Let's grab one of those. That's what I was looking for. Grab some more attack speed. Like, Raswali, can you confirm right now your um, FPS? Is your FPS also getting like kind of shit? Or is mine dropping like needlessly? Because previous runs weren't this chuggy, right? Oh, okay. Oh, shit, you're watching more than one stream. Damn. I fucked that up. Something's not right, Jim. Um, 
I'm gonna quit the desktop quickly. Uh, I'm just gonna say be right back. Because there is definitely one mod that I think is fucking me over right now. So I wanna go to my installed mods and I wanna have a look at um What was the thing called? Um, Multitude Chef. No, these are all the characters. Oh, what the fuck was it called? It was called something aesthetic. Instead of going through my entire list right now, trying to figure out what the hell it was, it was called stage aesthetic. Okay. Uh, stage aesthetic. You uninstall. I think that might have been a big... Yeah, I think that might have been the biggest thing fucking me. Okay, and now that that is done. What is this? Okay, let's start modded. Unfortunately, this is going to take a couple of seconds to open up again. So I'm going to sit back and chill while we wait. Yes, the game is still starting up. Dude, I know the feeling. Like, running all, like, 91 mods. The game takes so fucking long to start up. And then finally, I get the NVIDIA press on CTU's GeForce experience. I finally get that pop-up, and I'm like, okay, cool. The game is finally starting up. And that means I can finally... Uh, switch this back to the main game. I think, unless I just fucked it by pressing Alt Tab. Okay, now there we go. Okay, so I want to have a look at the setting list for the mods option. What can I actually do with the mods option? That requires a restart. Rocket Survivor. OK. 
Okay, no idea what any of that shit did. Let's see if there's someone fixed it. Oh, hell no. Can you imagine running out? Nope. I ain't doing a random run, that's for fucking sure. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do an engineer run. But with no mods active on. Not monsoon difficulty. Let's just go with the rainstorm. That way we aren't crying completely. We're still having a bit of fun. Let's see what this did. Hopefully this cleaned up the graphics a bit. Now we're back to the normal aesthetics as always. But the game still feels sluggish. I probably broke it somehow. I would not be surprised. Let's go find the teleporter and set up by the teleporter and just wait. Oh no, I can't because I don't have any things. I actually need to move around. Fuck. Forgot about that. It gave me nothing. Sounds about right. Sorry. There's, there's one that, with the engineer, there's one that I have to have active. Um. Monsters drop. Thank you. Engineer is too goddamn slow to run around the entire map looking for items. I'm going to regret this. Challenge of the mountain. Why not?
Gain a short attack and movement speed bonus after activating an interactable. It's kind of useless for me, so if I find a scrap, I need to get rid of that. This is quite nice. Slow down enemies and projectiles. I need something to do with damage. Otherwise, this boss fight is going to be a bitch. Specifically for the fact that I activated the Shrine of the Mountain. There's going to be two bosses in there. I need damage. I've still got a minute and a half to try and make it work. Killing an elite enemy spreads in its elemental effects. Again, useless because... Gain armor when hit, that's kind of nice. Means my shield and my turrets are also going to be a bit more tanky. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to bite the bullet and just do it. One there, one there. Both my turrets are dead. Okay. I fucked up. That's fucking stupid. There's not supposed to be that many enemies, right? Like, I'm not making up shit. Okay, I'm at least picking up some shit while I'm out here.
Like, this is fucking insane, dude. Like, this isn't even funny. At least I'm starting to get some kind of damage shit on ya. Yeah, that's one Beetle Queen dead. Unnecessarily difficult. We survived, but oh my god. Okay, remind me never to do the Shrine of the Mountain again because I'm on 11 minutes. Fucking hell. That would be so nice to have. Okay, find the teleporter. Let's get my ship put down. is this? Gain base damage per level. Well, that's gonna be nice. Plus, I just got the fork. The fork means I get increase your base damage by 2.4 per stack. That's gonna be nice. It's actually an upgrade for once. We actually finally got damage upgrades. 
fungus right now would be amazing. If I come across a fungus in any one of these things, I am... Oh, look at that. I don't care what I have to sacrifice. Yep, I sacrificed my orc for a fungus. But now I've got regeneration. Meaning I can get my health back. And that's automatically a winner. Fungus on engineer is like the best. I mean, the fact that just I have to stand still and the, that, that, that healing is fucking decent. Alright, so not to fuck around for too much longer. See how much easier this shit is when I'm not fucking around with shrines. Yes. Move faster at low health. The fire band is amazing. And then more armor for standing still. And super glue. I'm sniffing shit apparently. Gain armor when I'm hit. And then on kill slow enemies. Yeah, bye. There's been an improvement. We are looking better. Find the teleporter as quickly as I can. I always struggle to find the teleporter on this map. It's all the way out there. Okay, cool. Please make the jump. Please make the jump. Thank you. Okay, found the teleporter. I can put my guns down and we can start dominating this area. Fireworks don't need it. Scrap. Danger. No. There was something I wanted to scrap. Apparently not. And I don't want to describe anything. Damage to bosses. I don't know what that green item was. Temporarily increase attack speeds and damage when an ally is killed by the enemy. I can scrap that because I don't have allies. Which friend? You're talking about the, the beetle that's running around with me, the beetle god. Uh, 
and this item, the Queen's Gland. So sometimes killing the um, Beetle Queens, um, she can drop a item, and every thirty seconds you summon a Beetle Queen, a uh, Beetle God. He's actually they're actually just more irritating than anything else, to be honest. Okay, let's start this boss fight. Spirit, you there, you there. You see, they, after you kill the boss, they sometimes drop yellow items. Critical strikes always bleed enemies. Bleeding enemies now explode. So, one of those yellow items is the Queen's Gland. Okay, big guys did. Let's go find out what the legendary chest is gonna cost me. There's a printer up there. Bustling fungus. Ooh, there's another fungus. Okay, teleport is right there, which is nice. That's gonna cost me two thousand nine hundred. Ouch. Slightly increase attack speed and movement speed. Not bad at all. Oh, something dropped there. Uh, flat damage reduction. That's nice. And this map, I will always sit a little bit longer, just simply before the fact that I know I can guarantee legendary as so well. I will just sit, relax, soak up the money, and get the legendary. Because depending on what legendary I get, I could have a game-changing run. Movement speed. Okay, 
And of course now it's being fucking weird. Attack spread damage to nearby enemies. So it's almost like a discount version of ukulele. It's the wish version of ukulele. Because I don't think it's going to do nearly as much damage. Your attacks deal 35% total damage to and up to one additional enemy within 30 meters. Okay, I've got the cash for the legendary. Let's go get it. Unleash a barrage of slashes every five critical strikes. Could be cool. I don't know what it looks like. That's not a normal one. Okay, you go there, you go there. You start that. ATG, always the one. And looks like that's it. No, I did not need to fall this far down. Okay. Back up we go. Thank you. Let me just heal myself quickly. Okay, let's get going. Because I saw where the where the teleporter was. This is gonna hurt. I don't know what that shrine is. And I'm curious. A shattered monolith. Okay. I'm gonna do something stupid. Okay, that was beyond stupid. I do not wanna go that way. Full damage wasn't too bad. Yeah, I don't have that um, artifact active, so. I don't know what this does, and I'm scared. Okay, it doesn't do anything apparently. Well, I don't have the thing necessary to require to make it to do something, so... Oh well. Okay, let's get my ass over to the teleporter so I can sit down. Oh wow, this is gonna be fun. And just like that, both my turrets died. That's legendary, that's legendary, that's legendary, that's legendary. I'll take that. Okay, reduce the cooldown of your ultimate skill.
that's this needle because that's going to guarantee critical strikes and don't i have something that makes my critical strikes like yes i do that katana of mine yeah every five critical strikes unleashes a barrage of slashes and with me having needles now I will always force a critical to take place might not happen very often but so now that I've got needles here there, here there and we're gonna start you Very nice. Oh my god, okay. Anything else wanna fucking go? God damn. Upgrade an item at low health consumes on use at the start of each stage. One stack generates corrupts all power. What? Okay, cool, because I'm supposed to understand what the fuck that thing does. Corrupts all what? Corrupts all power elixirs. Okay, fuck knows what that thing does, but yay. Oh my god, run, 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 run. Okay. It's fucking close, because I forgot those goddamn crabs actually shoot out those void balls. Teleporter is down there. Oh, well done. Oh my god, I have to run so far around now.
uh, Roswali. And this is what I mean by it now becomes difficult because look at how many items I have picked up. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Look at how many items I've picked up. How many duplicates do I have? Almost none. Yeah, that's a, and that's where the problem comes in because, yeah, it's cool and all that shit that, yeah, I've got so many new items, and but a lot of items actually makes it very problematic. I've already got to have more items on your character than the unwanted game does. Yep. I've got a legendary. I've got a legendary. Slightly decreases secondary skill cooldown and grants healing upon using it. Oh, that's nice. Constant flow, move slightly faster. Look, look at the amount of shit I'm picking up. so much shit and I still don't have duplicates. I can't see shit.
I can't see shit what's going on, but... Real quick, make again items to start the next stage. Breaks a random item at low health, grabs all. Ooh, that sounds very bad. No, I was supposed to go through that. I fucked up. I wanted to obliterate and I accidentally continued. That was the round I was supposed to obliterate that. This is gonna this is gonna get disgustingly difficult. Six health. I've got six health. I've got six health. I've got six health. I've got six health. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm dead. <laughs> okay, so it seems like there is a downside to having too many mods. fun i think i need to maybe revisit all the mods uninstall all the mods i've got and just go back to the original mods that i had that was fun <laughs> okay sweet however i have been streaming for like the last three hours and 20 minutes almost so i think that's going to be it for me tonight Roswally, thank you very much for joining as always man i really do appreciate it to everybody else for those that missed the stream Join me next time. It really would mean a lot to me. Also, all of my past live streams do get posted onto my YouTube channel. So, if you did miss out and you want to catch up on something that you missed, go show some support over there by subscribing and turning on those notifications. Also, I am trying to reach that 50 follower goal. So, please help us get to that goal however you can. Share it with friends, with family, on your social network. Scream it at people from the top of rooftops if you have to. It would really mean a lot to me. Enjoy your Sunday as well, brother. Get some rest. And to everybody else, much love. Look after yourselves and see you in the next one.